क्लास इलेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स फिफ्थ चैप्टर ग्रेविटेशन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर लेट अस सी सम ऑफ दी फॉर्म्यूले फर्स्ट फॉर्म्यूला गिव्स केपलस लॉ ऑफ एरियाज केपलस लॉ ऑफ एरियाज व्हिच इज गिवन एज द एरिया स्वेप्ट पर यूनिट टाइम दैट इज फैक्टर डेल्टा ए अपॉन डेल्टा टी फैक्टर डेल्टा ए अपॉन डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू फैक्टरियल अपॉन टू एम फैक्टरियल अपॉन टू एम वेरियल इज एंगुलर मोमेंटम व्हिच इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टंट दैट इज फैक्टर डेल्टा ए अपॉन डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू फैक्टरियल अपॉन टू एम इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टंट दैट इज एरियल वेलोसिटी रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टंट देन सेकेंड फॉर्म्यूला ग्यूज केपलस लॉ ऑफ पीरियड्स फॉर केपलस लॉ ऑफ पीरियड्स टी स्क्वेर प्रपोर्शनल टू आर क्यूब स्क्वेर ऑफ पीरियड इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू क्यूब ऑफ सेमी मेजर एक्सिस दैट इज टी स्क्वेर प्रपोर्शनल टू आर क्यूब व्हिच विल बी रिटर्न एज टी स्क्वेर बाय आर क्यूब इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टंट टी स्क्वेर बाय आर क्यूब इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टंट और वी कैन राइट T1 वन बाय टी टू स्क्वेर विल बी इक्वल टू आर वन बाय आर टू क्यूब टी वन बाय टी टू स्क्वेर इक्वल टू आर वन बाय आर टू क्यूब थर्ड फॉर्म्युला ग्यूज यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन व्हिच इज गिवन एज एप इज इक्वल टू जी एम वन एम टू अपॉन आर स्क्वेर एप इज इक्वल टू जी एम वन एम टू अपॉन आर स्क्वेर where m1 and m2 will be the masses of two bodies and r will be the distance of separation between them at that time according to universal law of gravitation that gravitational force f equal to g m1 m2 upon r square or if you consider any body of mass m which is kept on the earth surface having its mass equal to m m will be the mass of the body and capital m is the mass of the earth and radius of the earth will be equal to r then gravitational force f is equal to g m m upon r square g m m upon r square then fourth formula gives acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity at altitude that is height h about the earth surface so at height h about the earth surface that is at altitude h acceleration due to gravity gh will be equal to g into r square upon r plus h whole square gh is equal to g into r square upon r plus h whole square or approximately it will be given as gh is equal to g into 1 minus 2h upon r gh is equal to g into 1 minus 2h upon r then fifth formula gives acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity at depth d that is below the earth surface at depth d acceleration due to gravity gd is equal to g into 1 minus d by r gd is equal to g into 1 minus d by r then sixth formula gives acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity due to latitude and latitude and the rotation of the earth so due to the latitude and rotation of the earth g dash is equal to g minus r omega square cos square theta g dash is equal to g minus r omega square cos square theta where this theta will represent the latitude then seventh formula gives change in gravitational potential energy change in gravitational potential energy which is given as delta u equal to g m m into 1 upon r i minus 1 upon r f delta u is equal to g m m into 1 upon r i minus 1 upon r f where r i is the initial distance and r f is the final distance that body will be taken from r i to r f at that time change in its potential energy 
that is gravitational potential energy is gmm into 1 upon ri minus 1 upon rf then at the formula gives relation between change in gravitational potential energy relation between change in gravitational potential energy and mgh that relation is given as delta u equal to mgh into r upon r plus h delta u equal to mgh into r upon r plus h then ninth formula is given for earth's gravitational potential earth's gravitational potential phi e is equal to minus gm upon r phi e equal to minus gm upon r if this r is taken it will be r plus h that is at height h if you consider on the earth surface then phi will be equal to minus gm upon capital r on the earth surface minus gm upon capital r and at at height h that is distance r plus h is equal to small r phi is equal to minus gm upon r then 10th formula gives the escape velocity escape velocity of any body is given as phi e is equal to square root of 2 gm upon r phi e is equal to square root of 2 gm upon r that will be the escape velocity then 11th formula gives critical speed that is critical velocity phi c which is given as phi c is equal to square root of gm upon r at height h so phi c is equal to square root of gm upon r which will be given in terms of acceleration due to gravity at that height that is square root of gh into r which will be further written as square root of gh into r plus h but if the body is very very close to the earth's surface at that time for close to the earth the critical speed phi c will be equal to square root of gm upon capital r which is given as square root of g r square root of g r then 12th formula gives for a lift having zero acceleration for a lift having zero acceleration the net force f the net force f acting on that lift will be equal to zero that will be equal to mg minus n or that will be mg equal to n mg equal to n then 13th formula gives for a lift having net upward acceleration if that uh, lift is having net upward acceleration then f is equal to ma this acceleration will be in the upward direction that is f equal to ma will be equal to n minus mg normal reaction minus mg where normal reaction n will be equal to ma plus mg n will be equal to ma plus mg then 14th formula gives for a lift having net downward acceleration if there is net downward acceleration for that lift then net force f will be equal to ma where this a will be in the downward direction that will be equal to mg minus n mg minus n and therefore normal reaction n is equal to mg minus ma mg minus ma then 15th formula gives time period of a satellite when satellite is revolving around the earth at that time time period of the satellite t is equal to 2 pi square root of r cube by gm t is equal to 2 pi square root of r cube by gm where this r will be the distance of that satellite from the earth's surface that is t is equal to 2 pi square root of r cube by gm which will be given as t is equal to 2 pi square root of r by gh 2 pi square root of r by gh then 16th formula gives the total energy of the satellite total energy of the revolving satellite so the total energy sum of its kinetic energy and potential energy that is ke plus pe 
काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू हाफ जी एम एम अपॉन आर हाफ जी एम एम अपॉन आर एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज माइनस जी एम एम अपॉन आर माइनस जी एम एम अपॉन आर द सम ऑफ दिस टू कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस हाफ जी एम एम अपॉन आर माइनस हाफ जी एम एम अपॉन आर दिस विल बी द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ दैट सैटेलाइट वेन इट इज रिवॉल्विंग at a particular height h above the earth surface and therefore 17th formula will give us binding energy of this satellite binding energy is the negative of total energy that is minus of total energy which comes out to be half gmm upon r because total energy is minus half gmm upon r so minus of this minus means it will be plus and therefore binding energy for that revolving satellite will be half gmm upon r but if that body is at rest on the earth surface then for that body on the rest at rest on the earth surface binding energy will be equal to gmm upon r because its total energy will be only minus gmm upon r since as it is rest therefore its kinetic energy will become zero and therefore total energy will be equal to minus gmm upon r and hence its binding energy will be equal to gmm upon r